Hello friends, Simagram doing TCGs yet again. Another box of Lorcana Rise of the Floodborn. So I think that's what the trick is. The Storyborn is like the regular versions of a character. Dreamborn is like some amped up kind of version of the character. And Floodborn is like a possibly flipped version of them like used to be a hero now they're a villain like i don't know but it's 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 an interesting concept i i like how they're handling that so far so let's see what we did that first box of this set was pretty aces can this one live up to the hype not so far prince charming you know, he, he, he's cool. He's cool. But he's not uh, the uh, ridiculous string of first few packs we had from that other box. But who knows? Who knows? It's early yet. That first one. Hey, there's a bell. We saw one of her in the first box as well. Um, but that is a... Legendary that I'm quite fond of actually was definitely hoping to see some bell She's not inkable. That's really about the only downside we've got there though Okay, and she's expensive uh, High ink cost cheap bogo And there's a Cinderella for us. I like this Cinderella a lot so that is a Super rare super first super rare of the box and I'm happy to see that as far as uh Hitting stuff I like we are uh, on track right now With a super rare and a legendary that I'm very happy with dragon gem. That's cool and painting some roses red I've seen some people saying oh uh, Enchanteds are way easier to pull in this set and then I saw somebody reply to that same post with oh no They're like way harder. So Maybe they're just randomized better basil Super rare number two I'm not as wild about basil. I'm not gonna lie. Just that's just me being dorky though like You don't have to pay attention to me when I'm being difficult Hey, Basil. I did been throwing Merlin around here. Cart soldiers. My dude. Squeak squeakity squeak squeakin. Cobra bubbles. I think I, I got a foil version of both of those in the first box, but I don't think I got a non-foil of either one, so that's actually kind of fun. Get that non-foil version of that rare. I like I like where we're I like where we're at. <laughs> Tweedledo. Ooh, Alice. Growing girl. She is a uh, larger at that point, I believe, than she is supposed to be. Oh, she's the one that when she gets plus four. Uh, Lore gain if she has at least 10 strength. That's fun. What we got? What we got? What we got? Mother dearest? Mouse armor. Bounce a little bit faster. How's about? Goosemaker. Ooh, there's my gal. Got us another super rare Raya. Whew, that's actually a tough one. I, I'm going to give her the edge over Cinderella here. Not bad. Like I say, we're not having this just ridiculous run at the very front uh, like we did on box one. But, ooh, Mulan reflecting. The Huntsman and Sleepy. It's also far from bad. We've already got uh, 
three super rares and two legendaries, and the legendaries are pretty decent ones. I almost said that word. I told y'all to tell me not to say anymore. Cogsworth super rare and a Mother Gothel. As we keep on keeping on. Bell Bookworm. It's a good way to be. Legend of Sword in the Stone. I'm not as much so as I used to be, but I certainly was a bookworm in my younger days. Sorcerer Spellbook and Super Rare Lady Tremaine and a Foil Raya. She's the common, but we uh, we like our, our we like our foils and we like our Rias regardless. Rabbit. You can fly. Prince. I hear you can fly, and my brain goes to the troubling place of thinking the uh, little punk kid from uh, Game of Thrones that always wants to throw people out the moon door thing. Prince John, fairy godmother, and bibbity bobbity boo. So we got a third legendary as I knock my legendary. slot down. No foil legendary. No enchanted. However, enchanteds are supposed to be pretty dang rare. And I got one in the first box. So I'm not exactly Raya. Not exactly feeling like I've got room to complain. Ooh, that's a really good looking foil. But we did get King Louis and the queen. She's a disguised peddler. Two thirds of the way through the box with this one. This is the 16th pack. Caterpillar, last stand, binding contract, Madame Mim, Arthur. Ooh, okay, there's a foil super rare. Feast and a regular super rare Arthur. Well, how are we going to handle this now? I guess these can go over here, regular rares can go over there, and foil super rare can go there. Just holding out hope for that top left slot to be enchanted. Should should we happen to uh, run across another one? A weight set. Namari again. Love it. And Honest John. He's not that honest, though. But heck yeah. I guess you can go on top again. Another legendary in there. How about that? He's got a regular foil of her as well. How's about that? So we got the, the whole run. and Gaston in foil. So yeah, clearly not just the, the ridiculousness of that first box, but there's not much to complain about here either. Hey, Pacha. Cinderella. Cheshire Cat for a supper rare. And cast on for a common foil. No, oh, we still got a few packs left. Who knows? Ravensburger might be like, you know what? Be our guest. Hey, Lumiere, good call. 
and Grand Pabby in foil for a third super rare foil. So I think that's what's happening this time is that uh, the hits I had in Legendary and Enchanted foils last box are landing in super rare foils this time, which is not all bad. Li Shang. Strength of Raging Fire. I see it and I want to sing. Cinderella and Beast. Not foily. Pretty decent though. I'm still... I think I'm in a spot where I'd like to see at least like one more legendary, but I'm still not bad. Little John. Merlin. And rare foil Hercules. I like that. Because that last box had a uh, 13 regular super rares. Hey, there's a legendary indeed. Sky. And a sardine can. Last pack. But that, yeah, that last one had 13 super rares and I want to say six legendaries, not counting foils. Uh, launch. Fairy. Zero to Hero. Teeth and Ambitions. Another super rare. There we go. The Queen. And a gumbo pot. So that one, this box, definitely was a little bit of a downturn from the other one, but still not bad. We got, we didn't have any super rare foils in the last one. We got three this time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we were down on super rares overall. So yeah, no, that other one was legitimately just a better box. Because we had uh, six legendaries as well. Um... That said, getting Amari, Bell, Alice, Scar. The other one was clearly better, but this one, this one's not too bad. We got a uh, Sheshire Cat. He's not foil. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we only got two foil. I guess we only got two foil legendaries in the other box, too. Um, plus the Exalted. Uh, exalted. Enchanted. So that's not too bad. All told, we got we got our good run of super rares. We got the top two that I like the most already. Um, decent run that beast showing up. We got the foil beast and the grand pabby. We got Namari again, Bell again, Alice Scar. Not too bad. Like I say, definitely not as good as the first one, but still, still not bad at all. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to checking out some more of this once the opportunity arises, once uh, supply stabilizes a bit. Uh, but thanks again. Uh, my, my friend Clint picked this up for me uh, when I wasn't able to get out on re release weekend at the time of filming. It's release weekend uh, from Alternate Dimensions in Tullahoma where he was playing a game. So I appreciate all, all around uh, them taking care of me. But in any case, thank you all so much for spending some of your day with me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, y'all.